Have you seen this picture before? I grew up seeing this picture. My teacher told me this is Wawasan 2020. In 2020, Proton also can fly. And I grew up believing that. Until 2020, I realized that we are so far from achieving Babasan 2020. Half of Proton is owned by China, and cars can only fly in our dreams. But never mind. When we fall down, we need to stand up. So our government come up with a new plan. New Industrial Master Plan 2030, aka NIMB 2030. To bring Malaysia to a whole new level if you want to be the next Robert Kwok, next Ananda Krishna, or next Shed Mokta, the NIMP 2030 will tell you what is the next big thing in Malaysia. And this is your chance to fly. Are you ready? Let's start. Number 1. 5 Key Priority Industries Electrical and Electronic, Chemical, Electric Vehicle, Aerospace and Pharmaceutical. Our government will focus on these 5 industries for the next 7 years until 2030. The goal? is to grow our high-level manufacturing in Malaysia by 61% to 587 billion ringgit. It doesn't matter whether we will succeed in these 5 industries. What you need to know is, in next 5 years, money will flow into these industries. It is estimated that 95 billion ringgit investment is needed for NINP 2030. So if you catch the wind, you might be the next Robert Kwok. Don't forget me if you are the one. Our Department of Statistics Malaysia has said that the poverty line in Malaysia is 2,589 ringgit. Meaning, if you earn less than that, then you are poor. And the median salary of manufacturing sector in Malaysia is 1,976 ringgit. Meaning, more than half working Malaysian in manufacturing sector is earning below the poverty line. So NIMP 2030 has set a very ambitious goal to increase Malaysian median salary by two times to 4,510 in 2030. And to achieve this, you need to work in these 5 priority industries. So my friend, if you are a businessman, an employee, or a student that still don't know what to study, now you know already. If you look into the 5 priority industries, you will realize that these industries are mainly based in Penang or Northern region. And all the 5 priority industries have very huge value chain, meaning that there will be a lot of small companies that come up to serve these businesses. And this means one thing, more businesses will demand more workers. When there are more workers, then the demand for temporary place to stay will increase. So if you are into property investing, Maybe it's time for you to hunt for this location where temporary demand for place to stay is high. NIMP 2030 is very serious in going all in for net zero, meaning we can expect more renewable energy investment in Malaysia. TNB has committed 90 billion ringgit in grid development in the next six years. Malaysia has also set new target to achieve 70% renewable energy mix by 2050. And the ban on exporting renewable energy has also been lifted. So the renewable energy sector is getting very interesting now. I am quite optimistic about NIMP 2030 because the plan is outcome based. They set the goal to increase medium income to 4,510 ringgit. Then they only designed the strategy to achieve that. This is a good thing because in 2030, we as a Malaysian can also look at the numbers. If median salary is not 4,510 ringgit, we should. If we are still developing country, we should. And if there's still no renewable energy, we should. So let's wait and see if NIMP 2030 will be the game changer or it's just another Wawasan 2020. Can Proton fly now? We will see.